Do you guys prefer foam or mousse? And no, I'm not talking about puddings. Although, is foam even a pudding? FYI, I'm still recovering from my cold, so bear with me. The main difference between a foam and a mousse is typically that a foam tends to be more lightweight, whereas a mousse is much Thicker. And some may also say that foams offer a lighter hold than a mousse, but this isn't always the case as you can get mousses that are a light hold, so it just depends really. Let's go and hop in the shower and get started on this side-by-side -side comparison. To start off, I am shampooing with the Floracil Cream Shampoo. I am massaging my scalp and root area, adding a little bit of water just to get it to foam up a little bit more, scrubbing again and rinsing thoroughly. And I'm actually going to double cleanse today because my hair was quite dirty and this shampoo is very gentle, so whenever I use this I like to go in twice with it to make sure I get my scalp really clean. I'm then working the Jessie Curl Conditioner through my hair and as I always do I'll be tying that out the way while I do the rest of my shower. I will then drizzle a bit of water over my hair, work it in some more detangle which was a struggle today. So I just rinsed it out and then I took about three pumps of the Flora Curl Curl Activating Lotion and worked that through my hair and luckily that helped add some extra a slip to my hair and made it much easier to detangle my hair. So I kind of brushed that through and then I roughly split my hair down the middle. I brush styled the left side and I added the Pantene mousse and then I'm doing the same on the other side, brush styling and adding the foam. I always have a hard time judging with foam and with mousse if it's enough or not. And with the Floracil foam, I was really having a hard time squishing that all into my hair, like product was falling out of my hand like no tomorrow. And then I micropopped with the towel and you can see that a lot of product came off in the towel as well from the Floracil side, whereas the Pantene mousse kind of sinks into my hair much easier. Maybe the Floracil foam is more concentrated or something. After about 15 minutes, I'm taking my towel down, taking my hair down, and then I'm gonna add a little more mousse to this side and mm, a tiny bit more foam to the other side. I hope I don't overdo it, and I also hope I don't use not enough. <laughs> and then I will diffuse until 100% dry, and I'll be back to show you the finished results. And stay tuned until the end of the video if you want to see how this wash day also held up over the next few days as well. I've just finished diffusing, and as you can see, the foam side doesn't really have much of a cast, whereas the mousse side, we've got a cast going on. So I'm going to scrunch this out and fluff it up and we'll see how we're looking. I'm having difficulty breaking the cast on the mousse side. I would say that the mousse side has just a tiny bit more definition, whereas the foam side, the waves are kind of like more soft and romantic. The mousse side is a little bit stringy and I feel like maybe the foam side has a little more shine. I think I actually prefer the way that the foam side is looking. Um, I think that this side is looking a bit stringy in places. I do love a mousse, but there's just something about this side that I just really love right now. <laughs> Here is my day three hair, and I will put up some photos of how my hair was looking yesterday. I would say there isn't really a huge difference between the two sides. I'd say they both look very similar. So today we are going to take this review one step further, and I'm going to refresh 
fresh. I'm hoping to tame a little bit of the frizz and hopefully add a little bit more definition back into my hair. Okay, so I like how both products added a little bit more definition back into my hair. Maybe the mousse side has tamed the frizz just a little bit more, but the cast is a little hard to break out, whereas the foam side kind of looks more soft. So yeah, it just depends what you're aiming for, really. I love how they both added some more definition back into my hair, a little bit of volume as well, and it just gave my hair a little bit of a pick-me-up on day three. If you're interested in more content involving foams and mousses, then here's a playlist that you can check out after this video. If you're struggling with your definition lasting, here's a video that you can check out, and YouTube is also going to suggest a video that YouTube thinks that you might like. See you next week. Bye.